So that was a lot. You, you're one of the very few artists who's able to take your graphic arts right beyond uh, shows and huh? tie it into your music. Yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as big as I'm not like I'm not whiskey. But I try. <laughs> no, 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 whiskey is a graphic artist. No, he. I mean, he's, he's he an doesn't paint. Musician, though. He just, <laughs> he's a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're a musician. Yeah, yeah. You're a graphic artist. Yeah, yeah. But you, it's like your music is born out of your drawings. Yeah, that's what I do. Interpret the music into art. Interpret the art into music. Did you study oh, art at secondary school level or something? Yes, yes. I did art. And I loved art in secondary school. I went to University of Illinois and we had an amazing art teacher. His name is Mr. Edo. Props to Mr. Edo, man. Like, he's so amazing. University of <laughs> okay. Uh, but, but you went into University of Learning to study law? Law, yeah. University of Learning is secondary school. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Secondary school. Okay. Yeah, that's so why I, I, I did. Um, um, I, but I loved art. But you know how it is, you know, but Niger, my dad was just not having that art thing. Like, no. I said I wanted to do art. He was like, no. Yes, I'm because that, that, that was going to be my next question. Why didn't you just <laughs> go in and study art? Oh, man. He was like, nobody has money for that. No. <laughs> don't waste my money in short. No, 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 no. Yeah, but um, yeah. parents tend to guide their children, mm -hmm. and then after they've got the pali, as we say, yeah, yeah, yeah. then they say to them something like, okay, you can now go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Or, or the child decides, here is your pali, mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'm off now to go and do what I really want to do with my life. Yeah. No, they didn't say that. They said, uh, you're LLM. Masters. <laughs> did you do LLM? <laughs> you didn't. Okay. No, so oh, you disobeyed. Yeah, that was. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> okay. We'll take a moment and right. we will come back to tidy up this conversation and then tell us where you're going to next. Yeah. Please don't go away. Thank you. Welcome back. We still have. Laolu Isaac Shebanjo in the studio, graphic artist, musician, lawyer, lawyer, son, <laughs> friend. <laughs> now, um, I was this painting on your face. Yeah. Do you have to do it every day? Yes. Um, it all depends on um, how I feel in the morning. Sometimes I, I look in the mirror, and I it's a it's a form of reassurance. Um, my, my grandmother had a very big influence on me growing up, and she had this oriki that she used to um, chant. You know, she would she would look at me and she would say she would say this. She would say, "Omo jale jale, omo anito ibu nile, omo anibura omo anikpepe, omo bumbata tintegbe mole." So you know, it's something that you know how the oriki kind of gives you like these goosebumps. It's something that's unexplainable. It's something you feel. It's energy. It is wild. A lot of times I just, you know, I soak up in energy and I put what I feel on my face. So when you see my face... Oh, so it's lines. different every time. It's different every time. Like okay. now I feel like a conqueror and I feel like a king and I feel like a god. I feel like today I'm just going to go out there, and, you know, be confident and do my thing. So here is like a mark symbol. You can see that axe. It's, I don't who, know if you who, say... Who does it for you? I do it myself. It's personal. It's very personal. Like, you know, it's like a meditative process where you look in the mirror and you're like, yes, who are you? Today. Today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So what next? What next? Okay. There's a lot of projects coming up I'm really proud about. Um, a lot of them I cannot announce. But um, I just, my, my aim is pretty much to be able to put, you know, the art that people consider, oh, that is, I mean, that's too ethnic, it's too tribal, these are some names for it. Like, it has weight. It is beautiful. It's ours. It's valid. And it can be on anything. It can be on a spaceship, if you want it to be. And I, there are no limits for me. I'm just, I want to take it to as high as possible. Like, I have a limited edition cologne bottle with Bulgari. I have, I've worked with a lot of other designers, and I'm working with some I cannot mention. And Like, there's a new, there's an age right now that we're in that, um, um, we are at the center, we are like the eye, and everybody wants to take advantage. People ask, wonder, why did Nigeria jerseys sell out? People think it's like, they don't understand why it sold out. We sold out, because Nigeria is marketable. Nigeria very marketable. Is marketable. Very, very marketable. In spite of the negative yep. connotation, yep. some people Wait, want to push out The population of over 150 million. Yo, do, you, do you know the amount of talent in this country, the amount of human resources in this country yeah. that we're not taking advantage of? Yeah. The amount of culture here that we're not taking advantage of? 
You know, people, people, a lot of times in the world, people want to ask me if they, when I'm in the room, because you know, probably I'm the only Nigerian and African, and they're like, oh, have you, do you have a friend from Morocco? I have a friend from Kenya? You know, you guys know you should. And I tell them like, yo, I have not been to Kenya. I have not been to all these places, like, but I can tell you about Nigeria. I'm but a Nigerian. I, yeah, I'm Nigerian. You know, <laughs> there's this assumption you know, of, And we're so cocky, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this assumption. So and I tell them, like, Nigeria is big enough. Like, I can't even tell you about the whole Nigeria because there's so much in it. Yeah. There's yeah. so much. Like, culture, we're talking of over 250, like, languages. Like, yeah. like, so I'm Yoruba, and I'm telling you about my Yoruba experience. That is not for everybody, though. So I can't even tell you, possibly tell you about the African experience. So I just think we have so much, and I'm just happy to be at the front, and I'm happy to be doing it, I'm happy to be like expressing myself, and I'm happy to be able to like show other people that it's possible, you know, if they put their heart to it and they want to be artists, whatever they want to be, they can do it. Mm. So, wow. Uh, I was going to say, um, would you want to sing us out, or would you want to do a Riki? I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> do you sing with your guitar um, when we do sign out? Um, sign out. I want to say, I don't know, something about this is amazing. I've been watching this for years. Yeah, and I think it's amazing. It's fine. It's amazing to be here. I've watched you on TV for a long time. I'm like, I like that guy. He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, 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 you've met the cool guy. Yeah, yeah. And also, I mean, I've, I've seen, I've, I've like, Sunrise, like, you know, like, it's, my dad watches the TV channel all the time. Growing up, I'm like, oh, man, channel. It's like, it's so serious. It's so serious. You know <laughs> no, no, it's a serious channel. Like it's it's one of those places like you, you watch TV and you're like, yeah, you want to really know what's going on, want an alternative, you know, to the mainstream or whatever. And yeah, that's what channels that's what they're saying. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did Just tell you that you had a very interesting personality today as our Artist of the Week. Did I lie? Yeah. So, Lalo, you just, you just uh, strum your guitar when we're done to okay. sign us out, but we're just going to sign out and fine. then we'll leave you to say fine. goodbye to your audience, All right, to your you. music. So, so thank you for staying with us uh, three hours odd on Sunrise this morning. Uh, we have enjoyed presenting the program to you and we hope that you enjoyed being with us. Mm. We'll bring you a fresh one next week. I'm Alera Edu, wishing you a happy weekend indeed. And I'm Nelta Igwe. Have yourself a good day. And remember, be the best you can be. Be a plus, don't be a minus. Be a solution, not a problem. God bless you. Laulu. Laulu Isaac Shebanjo. <laughs> Lawyer, musician, artist. 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 Take me away, away so far.